Hi you all, this is Maggie. So I wanted to take some time to review. I completed this mini journal and I wanted to just go over the drawings and how I can see the changes as I've um, continued to work and practice on my drawings and my paintings. Um, some of them are just uh, funny in the sense of when I was working on them. Um, on stuff that I completely do different now although some of them even though I know I have advanced they kind of look nice especially if you look at modern art um, you don't get that uh, defined um, drawings or paintings uh, for instance this one here her cheek is it comes completely out here <laughs> Uh, but I still do like it. This one, um, I don't know what I was doing here, but this is, you know, I, I wish I had recorded the time when I started this, So, but I know it's a long time ago. And you can tell as I'm getting to the end how the joints, um, they start changing a lot. And it's from practicing and, um, and just to tell you a little story of how it all started. Um, I was actually 50 years old when I my son had challenged me um, on painting, drawing and painting because I, st I, I picked up the coloring books, you know, the adults coloring books and I madly fell in love with it, uh, with the colors and painting. And he saw me that I was so excited about it and he said, why don't you go ahead and do the drawing yourself and paint it? And um, I said, no, because I'm not you. You're a really good artist, but not me. So he said, just try it. So I went ahead and I did a little snowman and I, the snowman was came out pretty good. And I said, wow, if I can do a little snowman, I probably can do something else. And that's how I started. And I have old uh, journals that I actually got rid of where I, when I first started, it was, I mean, you can see the difference day and night. So it, it's proven that a lot of practice and, you know, and, doing it every day, it does improve your paintings. Um, I've had a chance to start with cheap, cheap um, art supplies and then enhance it as I go and the more comfortable I get with my drawings and my paintings, I kind of do my upgrades and go to the next paint. Um, and still today, after you know all that time, I'm still so passionate about it and um, love doing the arts and I think I'll continue doing it until I can no more but I wanted to share um, this journal um, here it's um, I'm starting to get a little better I'm starting to like how I'm putting faces together this one I worked on it and I never did like it but anyway this one is very very old probably almost to the beginning when I started my channel and I was it wasn't so bad um, it actually was part of a uh, introduction for my YouTube channel. Um, the tree there, I hated that one. Here I was practicing on doing figures and uh, so it wasn't so bad. Um, it wasn't something that I really got hooked up. I'm really loving doing portraits and, um, and flowers and um, animals. I love doing painting animals. I, I Now I want to kind of venture more and add more than just having a single face or something but adding more to it but not so busy um but do have other things going on and this side of this page i at first i thought it was washi tape but actually no i actually painted that so you can even mimic washi tape by just you know painting a, a line and then putting some flowers on it and here i was never was very attached to landscaping or anything that had to do with the outside more it was more about faces and um and animals and stuff like that but lately i have been went went back to it and trying new techniques and you can see it at the end of this video where i did a whole full page of a landscape and um, it came out pretty good and i'm starting to really get uh, attached to that as well um, here's another one that I worked on um, this was old as well and this one too but it's changing you can see the difference from when I first started into um, as I'm going here this is when I'm starting to get a little better and I'm trying 
things that I knew. I had the tendency of what I see I paint, but then I noticed that a lot of people says, you don't have to use that same color, just be creative. And I'm loving it because I it's something different and it looks so nice. Um, this was old as well, then the rooster. I used to have that rooster and I painted the rooster. It wasn't so bad. I used colors with him. Um, and then here, oh gosh, my cats don't even look like that now. Um, so it's so interesting to going back and looking at what I was doing before. Although this is not bad in comparison when I first started. Um, which you can tell the difference I, I wish. I'm going to look to see if I can find a very old, old journal. And then see if I do a comparison of when I first started and now um, now how my drawings and all that. Um, even <laughs> the dogs, I do that a little different more details more shadows a little bit more realistic um, although I'm not trying to do realistic paintings but I do want the image to show and here's the actually this part here where I am today um, and when I try to do painting of it, you know, just just coloring with watercolor, don't did not like it at all. Um, here's another one that is a little more of an abstract, and I do like it. I kind of like um, that. This one, this is now now what I'm doing right now. Um, so I'm kind of going into a little bit of realistic, and then a little bit of abstract or not abstract but a little bit more of a loose painting this one was old uh, but it, it, it landed on that page this one was watercolor this one I have fun doing I used the salt technique for the hair and it was just the black and white because I did a series of black and white paintings uh, which I show a video um, that one is an old one too this one is uh, a recent one that I did um, I have fun with this one I this one it was gouache, and the flowers were watercolor, but these were old. This one I did a long time ago. And um, let me see. Oh, this one was gouache, and this one was like, wow, I was actually surprised that it came out like this. And this is how you see how now I'm painting uh, the landscape, you know, that different. I'm trying to use other colors and soften it up. This one too, this is another style that I've seen and I like a lot. This was fun doing. This one was gouache. This was the drawing that I did and then I wanted to add paint into it and actually changed her a lot um, from the drawing itself. This one, I actually didn't put a drawing at the on the, on the, on the page before that one because this is um, oil pastels. So it's, it's all sticky and it sticks to the next page. And this one I left just as a drawing. Um, and that shows um, how you know the improvements are and this is one now going a little bit more of a loose painting just splashing paint here and there I thought it was fun working on that one and I actually did like it here I was trying the the, the botch new paintings that I got and then the final one is the long triple or double page no this I think it's triple or four pages here uh, where I did the long landscaping uh, which is this one here and at first I was like, oh, this is gonna be a lot, but actually it was it was a lot to add details, even though it's in a little miniature journal, but it was fun to um, create it and, and putting and trying to be different in every spot because it was so long and it had so much lands, um, landscaping there. So this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you, bye.